Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Poco X3 Pro and we have a new update for Corvus OS. The version is 16.8 and the name of this update is Avalon. Updated on the 30th of August and we're going to talk about what's new, what are the benchmark numbers and should you install it and what are you know the initial impressions. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other, so join us there. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. my name is Kailash, let's get going. Alright, so what do we have here? Corvus OS for Vayu and Bima, that is the Poco X3 Pro. Version is 16.8 official Avalon, Android 11, updated on 38th of August. Device change log, changed kernel to Mochi, added thermal profiles, that is always a good thing. Added dynamic refresh rates, another good thing. Fixed other reported bugs and performance improvements. Now, performance improvements is something we'll talk about in the benchmark section. Now, it does say in the notes section that clean flash is required, don't PM the dev, report bugs only in the device support group. SE Linux status is enforcing, safety net passes out of the box, both vanilla and GApps builds are available, suggested firmware 12.5.2 or greater. These are the credits, go ahead and support the team if you wish to, but it looks great. Now, the reason we are doing a first impressions of what's new is because this is the second build of Corvus OS for this particular device after it went official. And that is the reason this is pretty, pretty significant. You do see that we have Antutu benchmark and a few other benchmark applications over here. So we will see what the performance is and maybe day after tomorrow when I switch from the Mi 11X to the Poco X3 Pro, I might go ahead and do a real life ROM review on this particular update. You can let me know in the comment section if you want me to do that or not. Now, let's talk about the overall fluidity of this particular update. Now, as you can see over here, we are running in 120 hertz mode and this is pretty smooth. But the important part for me always, Google feed. There you go. When will Xiaomi do this? Now, I have had comments in the comment section defending Xiaomi in a good way. I'm not saying it's bad. Stating that it happens on Pixel as well if the feed is loading and stuff. Well, those hiccups, I understand. But if you notice MIUI ROMs for the POCO X3 Pro, even the latest ones, even this movement over here is not smooth, even after several attempts. And when you actually scroll like this, this is how it should be on a 120Hz panel. It's absolutely gorgeous, absolutely smooth. I really, really like it. Let me just go ahead and enable the brightness a little bit for you guys. Now you do see that the default theme that this particular ROM comes with is pretty, pretty good. It looks great. You do have your screen recorder, which allows you to use internal and external audio, right? So it does come with a custom launcher, which has quite a lot of customization, including hidden apps, which can be enabled via a pattern of your phone or the fingerprint scanner, which brings me to another point. The fingerprint scanner works absolutely okay. I've not had any major issues with the fingerprint scanner. Now let's have a look at the system info of this particular build. So you go to about and Android version, August security patch, kernel is the Mochi kernel and Android version 11. This is the Corvus version and if you click on it, you will go to the Corvus homepage. Now moving on, let me quickly take you around the customization. Over here you have Corvus settings in which you have Raven's Lyre, Raven Desk and Themes. Now that is something that I really, really like about these ROMs is that you have a ton of customization. So maybe when I do a real life ROM review, I'll go into the details, but you can for now pause the screen and have a look what options are available. In Raven's Lyre, you have notifications, gestures, miscellaneous, these options. There's a ton of customization and these animated sort of, you know, icons over here at the top makes the experience even better now i'll tell you this with this brief experience i've not had any major major issues the battery life is nothing to be judged but as you can see over here you do have 49 minutes of screen on time 12 hours back i removed it from the charger these things are still not available i don't know why maybe in the next build they will go ahead and fix it but you do have a ton of customization and almost everything on this particular rom is working as expected 
it doesn't boot or it doesn't come with a lot of applications or bloatware right let's go ahead and have a look at the benchmark numbers the cpu throttle test over here looks really really decent average score 180 466 gips cpu throttle to 90 percent of its max performance so i'm not saying it is super amazing but it's a pretty decent score for a second build now let's go ahead and have a look at geekbench over here 770 single core and 2543 multi-core the multi-core score is a little on the lower sky lower side but if you ask me this is a pretty pretty decent score over here and to give us some error like it gives in nusantara uninstalled reinstalled didn't help so you know all in all this is a pretty decent rom you can definitely use it as a daily driver safety net passes out of the box wideband l1 works fine so you won't really really have a lot of problems there you go your play store is certified which means you can go ahead and use banking applications so all in all corvus os for this particular device is doing a great job and as and when they keep releasing builds and fixes this will just keep getting better but i will tell you this corvus os is not a dedicated gaming rom it comes with mochi kernel which is available in a lot of other devices and this is a myth that there is a gaming rom there are roms which perform at their own level some perform better some don't so just don't give any particular rom a gaming rom tag let me know in the comment section what do you think about this quick video of Corvus OS for the Poco X3 Pro and should I do a gaming review and a complete review of this ROM or not. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.